This video is about installing the Open Molar Dental Practice Management Program in Debian 6. The original version of Open Molar used a MySQL database. This one, version 2, uses the PostgreSQL database. We started by going to openmolar.com and among other things we found the references here for the repositories. So we copied those and we went into administration synaptic package manager settings repositories third party software add and we just copied the line in there add source and it was there we did the same with the second file And it says once you've enabled the re rep repo of your choice, get whichever components you require and use apt-get to install them. We installed the common server admin client and we also installed PGA admin, the um, graphical inter interface for the database. So we just copied those into a root terminal. Uh, it's tried to install them again but because they're uh, there it's, it's done nothing but uh, that was just to go through the process it installed PostgreSQL 8.4 the default one in Debian 6 um, during the process now in order to get access we needed to change something to do with passwords in the PGHBA configuration file and change it from MD5 to trust. MD5 is a hash which does something to the password. And to do this we had to change the file permissions first for that file. So we copied that line after we'd written it out, opened the root terminal, changed the mod to 777 We went to computer, file system, etc., etc., Postgres folder, 8.4 main, found our file which now had open permissions, had a look at it to make sure it was the right one, and we saved it onto the desktop where it was accessible. There it is. And we needed to change those lines. They're already changed in, in this file because we did it earlier. But just to go through the motions, after we had altered it, we needed to copy it back into its original folder. And we did that from the command line. And copy blah 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 back to the main folder we had to change directory to the desktop because that's where the file was paste in our command and that should have copied it back ok and we close the terminal and we can look at something else ok we checked to see if the program launches the shortcuts were in the right place in the applications office tag and they were there's one for open molar 2 and one for open molar 2 admin and while we were at it we created a launcher for pga pg admin 3 on the panel at the top of the gnome desktop and we simply right clicked on an open part of the panel and went through the motions there and we ended up with our elephant logo there, our icon. Click on that and it opens PG Admin and we can see the Open Molar database there. We can 
connect and we can look through the files see what's there and familiarize ourselves with it okay that's for another time perhaps we'll just close those if we go to office and open our open molar 2 admin it says we can populate the database with demo data put some dummy names and addresses and phone numbers and so forth in and some dental treatment records tells us our admin password is that which we may like to copy for future use we'll come out of the admin screen and we'll go into the normal user screen wait while it installs, while it loads I mean and there's the demo database information so to have a quick look around here we've got a patient database, we've got a diary help, plugins, there's the home, we can add a, a new patient, <coughs> there's a screen for new patient, and relatives, someone who's related to a patient, maybe mother and daughter or something like that, there's a summary of someone's dental record, and we've got some of these other buttons here which won't work until the thing's populated and running properly, We've got information on routes, crowns, and procedure codes. Treatment, estimates, notes, and history. So there are buttons or tags for all of those, tabs I mean, for all of those items. We'll put in a dummy patient here. But to change the date of birth because James Bond is older than that. His first film was in 1962, so we need to get that right. Forgot to put in sex, which is close to James Bond's heart, I think. And there's the basis of a patient record, and we can add a practitioner and a hygienist and so forth later on. And this is just a quick overview of what's there. So we can quit that. Now it says here this program may help those who want to work in dentistry, perhaps as a receptionist or in another support role. Many clues about procedures and dental terminology can be picked up by exploring the program. So somebody who's looking for a job in that field but isn't going to qualify as a dentist, hygienist or nurse may be able to work um, in a, a non-professional role, a support role, um, by finding out something about it. And programs such as this can be very helpful. So we congratulate Neil Wallace on his very good effort here in creating this program and making it available as open source. We wish any users good luck and remember to look after your teeth. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.